Gary Fillett here. And before we return to court for the next part of Case of the Day, let's have a word with former Blackpool and Tottenham barrister at law now running a chain of highly successful matching discotheques and boutiques in Portugal, Cheese Cossack. Thanks, Gary. Great to have you back on the show, Cheese. And how do you think things are shaping up? Well, it's been a great trial so far, Gary. Yeah. Real first division testimony. Some terrific arguments. Yeah. Uh, I was particularly impressed by Karen's opening remarks to the jury. Yeah. She's been yeah. showing a lot of form this season. I think you'll agree. Uh, uh, do you remember that fabulous not guilty verdict uh, she returned in the Liverpool Crown Liverpool, Court in yeah. the case of the uh, sterilised Sterilize monk? monk yeah. I, yeah. I think she raised some terrific objections before the recess. Yeah, but Sir Miles Pagallon for the prosecution has been doing quite well since his transfer from City to criminal trials. Well, let me put it this way, Gary. That admission of guilt he elicited from yeah. Merriweather before the end of the first half was a classic in cross-examination. Yeah, let's take uh, another look at that admission again, shall we, Cheese? And would you like to talk us through it? Aye, well, uh, <clears throat> you can uh, see the prosecution there really pressing ahead. Yeah, and that's Karen Smoke who objective for the defence. Uh, well, she raised that a little bit too late for me yeah. there, Gary, uh, I'm afraid. Don't be frightened, she's uh, we're here to help you. N no, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right there, this is it, coming up now. Oh, look at that terrific wobble of the jowls from Sir Miles. Yeah, it's typical yeah. of an attorney uh, like what he is. Uh, oh, oh, look yeah. at that! Uh, terrific! Yeah, yeah. Oh, superb! Yeah, oh, I bet the boys are over the moon about that yeah. one. Uh, uh, it looks like they're ready to start the trial again, so uh, we'll be back at the end with an interview from the cells with Jock Honeyboy Matt Nutter, the Cardiff Pigeon Strangler's new trainer. So, until then, goodbye. I thought we were going down the boozer for a baby. We are. Oh, goodbye. 75,000. Guilty! Condemned from his own lips, Your Honour! The prosecution rests its case. And my lord, may I proceed with my client's defence? Uh, it's an open and shut case, isn't it? Well, yes. with all due respect, your honour, I think that's a matter for the jury to decide. And with all due respect, Miss Smolkew, I was not talking to you. Did you buy it on that new shop down the high street? Don't you think it matches my guard? Lord, may I open the defence? You find it easier to open the gate first. Oh, I made a funny clerk of the court. Write it down and send it for two runners they could do with new material at the moment. <coughs> Very well, Miss Smoke, you boogie. Uh, objection, Your Honour. Sustained. What possible reason can you have to object? Uh, yes. Uh, what possible reason, Your Honour? Yeah. Uh, uh, a very shaky one, I'll be bound over, but a reason nevertheless, Miss Smoky. I am grateful, uh, Your Honour. Stain the objection, strike the witness's last remark from the record, keep it in the film version. Your Honour, I appeal to you. <laughs> well, uh, I must admit, Miss Smoke, you, you rather do. I find you quite appealing. <laughs> uh, you may carry on. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honour. If it please the court, I'd like you to hear some evidence that shed a great deal of light on this case and explains the reasons for my client's actions. It would all just close your eyes and count to three. Uh, all this seems highly irregular. Take, for instance, his home life. <laughs> Is that you, our Wolfgang? Is that our Wolfgang? Meet her. <coughs> Meet her. Oh. You've been a great disappointment to me and your mother, you, you have, son. It's a disappointment, oh, that's the word. Fair broke her heart, it did. Broke her heart, broke her heart. Broke her heart, broke her heart. Broke her heart, broke You came to her and told her you wanted a wash. I tried to tell her, I said, it's just a phase, all teenagers go through. Look at the state of your now. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the least you could have done was rub some soil in your hair before you yeah, come you here. You ain't Jesse. Yeah. You make me sick. Good idea, that is. Ashamed at having failed his parents, Merriweather left England in disgrace. <laughs> For new life in Austria. Uh, shouldn't that be Australia? <laughs> um, he was very good at spelling. Uh. Years later, he returned to England as a rich, successful doctor and started a practice in Harley Street. Two years later, he'd practiced enough 
and opened the surgery in Versailles. Then he fell in love and married a beautiful heiress, Dean Guild Everton. Wolfgang? Yes, dear? I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh, certainly, dear. Um, uh, which one would you like? <laughs> when we got married, you told me that both your parents were dead. Oh, oh they are, dear. Uh, dead, yes. Uh, twice. Both of them, definitely. Then how do you explain this? Uh, what is it? It's a letter to me from your parents. It arrived here this morning. Oh, that's impossible. Uh, they were both killed um, 20 years ago in a golfing accident. Well, it can all be explained when they get here. If they're imposters, you can call them liars to their faces, uh, can't you? No, I'm afraid not. I haven't had time to tell you this, but uh, uh, we're moving to America tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's a bit sudden, isn't it? It's as fast as I could make it. Uh, it's a, a rush job, some sort of outbreak of plague. They're, they're crying out for doctors. Good money it would be a uh, humanitarian gesture. Mm. <gasps> well, it doesn't matter anyway. They said they were arriving today. That's probably them now. Come along, dear. Let's take a look at these imposters, shall we? And now, let's hear a few words from some of his grateful patients. Thou shalt not kill yet. Thou shalt not take unto thyself any parsnips or cord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go so fast. Huh? What art I going too fast for thee? I thought thou were found in rushes. Bull. I beg thy pardon? Bull rushes. Blimey, I don't know. Right, thy sons and worship there, Rob. Get that kill. Any raving idiot. Any graven images. Or spotted dogs. Or false gods. Yeah. And finally, thou shalt not kill flies. Well, never. Never. These are my commandments. They must be obeyed. Extra! Who lit to fadal? Come in, Abra! A carol shabbat! Extra! Who lit to fadal? Come in, Abra! A carol shabbat! Come in, Abra! A carol shabbat! Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I'll put it for arbitration with the lost tribe when I get back, but I can't see my members voting for it. I mean, it's not as if we haven't had offers from other deities, you know. You're not the only god in the wilderness looking for a following. Well, you went in with a chance this time, I can tell you, but uh, this fly business, well, <laughs> I can't see the women going for it, for instance. And in a situation like this, their vote can be decisive. Are you sure? Absolutely. Uh, well, go ahead and change it if you think it'll make any difference. Right. <laughs> Thou shalt not tell lies. How does that grab you? Oh, uh, it'll do, I suppose. But I still think the other was sort of, well, zany. Well, sounds almost the same. Never mind. Well, better be off. I'll uh, let you know the council's decision as soon as possible. Bye bye, God. Thou shalt not tell lies. Ridiculous. Everybody tells lies from time to time. Oh. I hope Moses doesn't believe all that stuff about the promised land. Me and my big mouth. Right! I want to make a withdrawal. How much would you like, sir? I want the entire contents of this bank at once. And I want it in used greasy five pound notes. And I want it in a posh plaster. Oh, a bit chilly, are we, sir? What? The scarf, sir. Scarf? Sc oh, yeah. Perhaps we've yeah. just had a tooth out. Uh. Oh, yeah, perhaps we have, yeah. yeah. I thought so. What? Now, listen. Yeah? Is that your car out there? Uh, the one parked on top of my colleague with the engine still running? Nah, mine's a green one, Sergeant. Yeah? yeah. Funny that. Really? I could have sworn I saw the driver coming in. In here? Nah, there's nobody been in here. Has there? Uh, no, no. So it's not yours, then? No. Oh, sorry to have bothered you. Listen, have you got a license for that? Uh. It's in the post. Oh, thank you, sir. Thanks for all your cooperation. Pleasure. You get cramp if you keep on doing that, you know. Uh, well, Sergeant, could you cash me a check? Did you ever lie to a wife? Well, yes, but it was purely Just the course you... answer the question, did you ever lie to a wife, nests or yell? I mean, uh, yes. On more than one occasion? 
Yes. So, how do we know you're not lying now when you say you killed your wife? Well, because I did. I was there. I remember doing it. Oh, and you couldn't be mistaken? No. <laughs> I see. So, you've never made a mistake in your whole life? Well, not once? Well, I mean, obviously everybody... Just answer the question yes or no, Mr. Merriweather. <sighs> yes. So, you could be mistaken now in thinking that you killed her. But I did. How can we believe you? You've already admitted to the court that you tell lies. Is she dead? Where is she then, eh? Why doesn't she come here and testify in person? Your Honor, the autopsy report on this matter is quite clear. The autopsy the... report? Oh, poo. Oh. All that proves is that Mrs. Merriweather isn't alive. It does not prove that she is dead. Oh, that's absolute nonsense. She is dead. I shot her six, six times. Why did you shoot her six, six times? Times. To make sure she was dead? I, I suppose so. Exactly. Because even you, a fully qualified doctor, weren't sure if she was dead or not. <gasps> Ladies oh. and dummies of the jury, the defence rests its case. <laughs> We're going to take a little break now while Lord Chief Justice Grimsby Humphrey does his summing up, and we'll be back in a few moments with the verdict. And I say you're lying! I ain't, Jesse. You understand? Now, you listen to me, you dabbling good-for-nothing ordinary two-bit critter. I say you're, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, I forgot my lion. I, what I say you were? Uh, lion, lion, Jesse. You reckon I'm a lion? No, I don't. I reckon you're a lion. Well, I ain't a lion. I'm a lion. That better. Come on, through the hoop. Okay, roar, oh, growl, growl. Come on. Growl, Nash. Yes. Goodbye. Wolfgang Amadeus Merriweather. You've been found... Not guilty of the murder of your wife, Dane Gill Merriweather. On this charge, I set you free. However, you will remain in custody until such time as you can be brought to trial for the murder of your defence counsel, Miss Karen Smalk, you. Mercy asked for it! She said I didn't do it and Silence, I... Silence, Merriweather! You'll not get away with this one so easily. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Really? I must be losing my touch. What's that? Oh, uh, apparently it's nearly opening time, so we, uh, court's adjourned until I've had a skinful. All rise. The case you have just been watching was fictional. All the procedure, however, was made up. The members of the jury, on the other hand, were available for part-time work as dummies, and pantomime and any other small-time shows that are going the northern circuit, particularly things which includes taking off clothes and small parts. You get a lot of words. You try to make them work. What do you get? Yes, cool. well, that was the last yeah, program no, in the present so series. Gibberish looks at S for science. Oh! oh. 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 oh.